Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday morning. That is Ryan's lunch. That is Ryan, who is going to eat the lunch. That's his drawstring bag that is completely broken. Look. So now I either have to uh, use it like normal, but I have to like hold the string, <laughs> or I can just put them all together and then like hobo it. <laughs> Oh, and then I have it these look, strings. Doesn't so, look very convenient. Yeah, I either put these over my back or I just hold them right here. Daddy O's coming home today. Hey. That's good news. We're packing today because we're leaving tomorrow for Orlando. Hey. Hey. We might be going to the mall after school today. Hey. hey. So we're gonna go see what kind of deals we can get. Ryan is going to either pay full price. He's gonna he's gonna pay it for it himself, or we're gonna split it. We're not talking about that. We split a lot of phones from the past and. I've written all of them, so I'm taking responsibility this time. I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna do it. And I'm happy about that. It's a lot of lawn mowing. Congratulations. Lot of lawn mowing. I <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you know what? You got a big, you got a summer coming up, so you can replenish all your. Uh... Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, here we go. That would be a good idea. Maybe I'll spring for that. Oh! It's the last day of February, but look at what's happening. Signs of spring are around the corner. Look at that. That is a tulip. Can you guys see that right there? and that right there. Those are gonna be tulips. Oh, there's some tulips. I didn't see those yesterday. Tulips, oh gosh, they're really coming up. And this is one of my favorite things ever. My little kitties. I think they hear me coming down the street and they wait for me right when I come in. I just love them. Hi kiddos. So last night, what happened? We didn't film this, I don't know why, but we didn't. But I guess because we didn't know what happened until after it happened and then we were so freaked out. But the kitties, knocked over the hamster um, cage onto the floor. Thank goodness the hamster didn't get out. And he wasn't damaged. He's got a lot of fluff in there, so he's fine. Let's go take a look at him, see what he's doing. We might keep the hamster, we're not sure. Hi! Well, he's in there somewhere. She's in there somewhere. Anyway, this was totally on the floor. Can you see all the mess that's still left on the floor from that? But like, boom! So we ran in. Picked her up, put her back in, everything's all good. You. We are getting ready to go to Orlando for the weekend. Hold on a second. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. I might be really close to you. <laughs> um, I have some work to do. Mike's coming home. He was in Maine for the week. So he's coming home, which is very exciting. I'm hoping he bring, brings home lobster. Not sure about that. Um, and. I'm gonna try to get my nails done. Remember I got them done. I thought they were supposed to be blue and yellow. They ended up being purple and yellow. I'm not happy about that. So I'm gonna get those done for playlist. I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna pack. Um, I have a few outfits set aside. And what else? Goodness sakes, I have a lot of things to do today. We have a meeting tonight at Water Polo about college recruiting. It's kind of that time. Brennan's a rising junior, which means he's a sophomore now. He'll be a junior. My, my glasses are still on because I have no makeup on. <laughs> anyway, he'll be a junior next year and we're starting to talk about like camps to go to over the summer and that kind of stuff for college recruiting. Um, hoping to maybe play water polo in college, that's what he's hoping. So um, there's about, I think they said for, for men, there are like 45 or 46 varsity programs out there between division one, two, and three. For women, there's actually more. So if you're a girl and you're a good swimmer and you're thinking about playing water polo, do so because your chances of maybe playing in college might be better than a boys. Um, anyway, so that's what we have that tonight. I swear I have like a million things to do. Oh, I have to go to the printer. I have to, I'll have to send a few emails for water polo. Anyway, all kinds of stuff. So regardless, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday and stay tuned to see, oh, and we're going to get, um, I have to take Katie to the mall. She needs to get some more facial cleanser and lotion and Ryan wants to get his phone. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna come to fruition, but it potentially it will. And, and do our video for today. And that's it. So anywho, huh, stay with me. We'll have a good day together and um, enjoy your Thursday. Bye. All right, if we could have some music, some big music, <laughs> like, <laughs> like big, yes, Olympic type music, achievement type music. This is, no, Mike did not just win the Publishers Clearinghouse sweepstakes. Mike wrote a book and the publisher has sent it to him. He's been working on this for a long time. Drum roll, please. Woo! <laughs>
Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. You guys may or may not know, Mike Donnelly is a a uh, consultant and expert extraordinaire around customer service and leadership and the wow. connection between leadership and, yeah. and service and how uh, employees perform in your organization and how customers respond. So he has written a book called Unlock Magic. And what's the byline? Available at lulu.com. Lulu.com. What's the, the byline? It's 50 key strategies to unlock the magic in your organization from my years as a leader at the Walt Disney Company. Mike, right. Mike and I used to work at Walt Disney World and that's where we met. As a matter of fact, maybe one day we'll do a story time on that. Oh my gosh. Are you proud? I am. Oh, he's about to cry, I love it. Congratulations, Mike. That is a big deal. Mwah, you're a published author. Mm, thanks, Anne. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Is it good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I love it. Oh my gosh. We gotta send a picture to Ada. Oh my gosh, that looks great. Time for the book signing. Yes, we're gonna have a book signing. Okay. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned. You guys can come out, get a copy of the book, get it signed by Mike. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, babe. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm gonna surprise Brennan, so we'll see what he thinks. Okay, open up. Book. My. <laughs> Look at, who is that author? I know. <laughs> Michael J. Donnelly is CEO of Donnelly Effect LLC. It's a select team of professionals who are eager to help you with organization and be effective. Your father's an author. That is dope. That is totally dope. Nope, oh, I think Katie's home. Oh, is that her? Here she is. Look at that little head. Katie Kate. I think I might just knock a bunch, it'll make you come faster. Faster? Very good. All right, close your eyes and hold out your hands. For why? Because. Just play. Play, 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 play. Shh. Okay, ready? Okay, take a look. Is this dad's book? Yes. Is he so psyched about it? Yes. Oh. Oh. I know. Congratulations, dad. So. Here we are, late again. Fine. Anyway guys, so yeah. I'm like like 30 seconds away. Bye. I love that my friends still expect me to be on time for everything. I know. Like, they right? should know by now that I'm just not like that. Yeah. I'm not. Why are you going so slow? Why are you driving so slow? Why are you driving so slow? Driving so slow? Driving so slow? Driving so slow? Do you think it's 25, you're going 10. They're sitting right there in their car. Okay, hugs and kisses. I love you, good luck. Yeah. All right, you guys, it's from one thing to the next. Katie finished her run, which I know she's gonna be really thrilled to tell you about because she had a great run. I brought Ryan with me, there's Ryan, there's Brennan, and we are headed to that college recruitment meeting we talked about. So we're gonna go learn a little bit about what it's like, those of you who are rising juniors and rising seniors, or have been through the college thing before you know. I'm a little nervous about it, I have to tell you. I mean, I went through it as a kid, but it's a whole different ball game now. All right, we just finished up our meeting. Ryan, how was it? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good? Uh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, just sort of listen. That's Coach Louie back there. He just wanted to be on camera, but he's an amazing guy. What do you think, Judy? Should we put him on camera? Yes, Louie! <laughs> coach Louie, welcome to the vlog. This is my favorite coach. Good, how are you doing? Look, Great. you can watch I yourself. I love your vlog. Look at your that. so much fun. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Thank you. You're making me famous? Yeah, well, right, you're much more famous than we are anyway. Uh -huh. So this is Coach Louie. He is the head coach for the varsity team at the Naval Academy. Yes, he's yes, an amazing man. So he was just telling us about college recruiting. I've been talking all day about coming to this meeting. This is the guy you want to know right yes. there. Well, I don't coach know about Louie. that. No, really, it's well, true. It's true. <laughs> thanks, Jill, for putting me on. You're Sorry. welcome. You'll see more of Coach Louie in days to come. Uh -huh. Hey, you guys, and if you haven't, um, um, followed you guys what's your Twitter or what's your Instagram at Navy water polo okay follow along because Navy water polo is rocking it's, it's rocking. a fun, it's a fun yeah. site it is a fun <laughs> site look you run that don't you yes I do you put a lot of funny things up there yes. <laughs> all right and our goal is to increase uh, water polo in the United States specifically on the East Coast so you guys water polo is where it's at you know what we just heard you know what we just heard we just heard and I think I knew this I think I mentioned this earlier today that there is there are so many more girl programs than boy programs. Yes, and there's, there's like 84, 88 girls compared to like 40 some or whatever. 40 some 
But guys, remember, yes, and exactly. there's so many more scholarships for girl water polo players yes. out there. So I'm trying yes. to get Katie to play water polo. So if a if you're a girl yeah, and you can swim, I'm still talking. Well, I can talk for hours. I'm trying to get girl Impressive. water polo players. Uh, yes. You just told us about all the money that's available. Know, yes. All right, play water polo if you're a girl and if you're a boy. We love it. Bye. Right. So, so bathroom. It's the fuzziest thing like <laughs> ever. And uh, I love it. So, you know. And we didn't come here to buy a bathroom, but it just happened to be on the sale rack. It's a really good Sweet price. Uh, we know Ryan loves fuzz. Yep. Yeah. So, nice. Uh, we got dogs. that, and we're gonna, gonna show them the shirt you're getting. Sure. I think we're gonna, gonna cop this for the meetup uh, for pictures. Pretty nice. Yes, it's very Florida. It's a nice That's a great shirt for all kinds yeah. of stuff. Now we'll tell you a little bit later about what happened. This this would be yeah, that'd be awesome. They would love that. Yeah, be <laughs> cool. Yeah, we'll tell you what happened with his iPhone in a minute. I just don't want to get the music yeah. in the background, so we'll tell him a little bit later. All right, let's get these two. You ready? Yeah. All right, we're out. All right, you want to explain what happened with the phone? Right, they're repairing it because this is a deal. He could have gotten, the advertisement said for $449 he could get the new XR, but that was only if you're turning in a seven and if it's in good repair. Well, he's turning in a six and it's broken screen. Yeah. So he couldn't turn anything in, so it was gonna cost him $800. Yeah, can't do that. We're like, no. So then I said, well, what is the option of getting, getting the screen fixed? He's in a bad mood. I gotta tell you what, yeah. I gotta tell you what. I'm paying $149 to fix the screen. He better turn his frown upside wow, down. Wow, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, he was gonna buy his phone all by himself, but it makes no sense. No. It was his decision. I made. I let him have his, his decision, but anyway. Whoa, I think Ryan's hitting the teenage years. Anywho, he ended up getting a very nice new shirt and a nice new, um, for a playlist, and a really nice um, bathroom. Huh. Do you want to share what made you happy today? Uh, yes, what made me happy today is getting the book uh, out. So I'm excited about that. I got a uh, bunch of nice phone calls today, too. Congratulations. That's nice, Thanks, Mike. Yes, excellent. Congratulations to you. What made me happy today also was that, I have to say. I was pretty jazzed. I did not expect that today. Mm. I'm very proud of you, Mike. Thank you. Nice work, absolutely. Hey, Ryan, you want to share what made you happy today, bud? Every day was having a good day at school. Oh, good. All right, and finishing your homework? Yeah. Excellent. I'm finish that tomorrow. You know what else made me happy today was the college recruiting meeting. It was fantastic. What did yeah. you say, babe? I heard Louis did a great job. He did a great job, Mike. I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Brennan, Brennan. No what things, did they? What things? Oh. What is that? What's making that noise? My ringer. Holy crumoly. It's connected to the thing, don't I? It's wicked loud. Hey, what made you happy today? I'm um, not the set owl. Oh, uh, like I had like my outfit picked up the picked out tonight. For I got a, I got a good sleep last night because I could sleep a little bit longer because I had my outfit picked out. Oh, for school. So you were for being prepared. That's awesome. Good for you, Brian. Does everyone do like multiple people take us out every single night? No. Sometimes I Ryan normally does, he didn't tonight. Um because he's soft. No, because he's upset because he didn't get a new phone. He didn't. No. They said it was going to be 449 but it was only 449 if you turn in a non-broken 7. And he has a broken 6. So I ended up, I'm paying for him to get it fixed. The screen and the software. And he's still bummed out. He's quiet. He's not quiet, but I think uh, he had his heart set on getting a new phone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.